All right. So the indomitable lines of Cameroon have picked up their first point of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Congratulations to them. And it was done in exciting fashion. They played out a draw against Serbia in their second match of the competition. But I do think that they walk away feeling like they actually lost two points instead of gaining one. Before we get more into detail, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So yeah, the Group G matchup between Cameroon and Serbia ended in a 3 all draw. I remember saying the match between Ghana and Portugal was a roller coaster of emotions, but I guess Cameroon and Serbia felt they had to one up those guys because they definitely played a roller coaster of emotion type of match. James Charles Castelletto, Vincent Abubakar, and Eric Chupo Motang scored the goal for Cameroon while Strahinja Pavlovich, Sergej Milinkovic, and Alexander Mitrovic scored the goal for Serbia. At the end, all is even, and I feel like that's about right. I feel like both teams kind of had their moments. You go to the 10th minute of the match where Alexander Mitrovic hit the bar. A nice opportunity beat his man, took a nice strike with his left, but it crashed right into the upright. Then Cameroon were let off once again by a miss by Mitrovic the 17th minute of the match a really good opportunity for him a player of his caliber really should be finishing that attempt right there the 19th minute came Cameroon's real first good opportunity of the game Pierre Koundé shot it got saved the first time he took it the second time and he kicked it wide a real nice position he was and really could have taken advantage of that also then the 29th minute where Cameroon get their first goal of the game Jean Charles Castelletto, a set piece situation. His teammate gets his head on the ball and he's at the far post and he has the simple job as he was unattended at that moment to just tap the ball into the back of the net. And that's his first goal for Cameroon scored in the World Cup. And it felt like they were on their way. They had a couple of moments, but then the 45th minute of the game came at it time and that's where you have Serbia punishing Cameroon the first minute of added time. Strahinja Pavlovic gets the goal, a free header in the box. Nobody was really marking him. He goes up, he heads the ball right into the back of the net. Then, like two minutes later, you have Zambo Nguisa in front of goal trying to lob the ball over an opponent. As he does that, somebody else comes in and takes the ball, and Sergei Milinkovic strikes it from outside the box. Is it outside? Is it inside? Kind of don't remember that. But he struck it, and he beat the goalkeeper. And then comes the people talking about Onana. Onana was supposed to be the starting goalkeeper, but he had an issue with the coach, and the coach didn't even put him in the squad. So, of course, when the backup goalkeeper gets scored like this, people are looking at the coach like, hey, uh, Onana would have saved that. But either way, the score became 2-1. They go into halftime. They did have another chance, but they didn't take advantage of it. Two goals to one in halftime. Second half, 53rd minute, Mitrovic scores, and that makes it 3-1. They were just sliced and diced for that situation. Just pass, pass, pass in the box. Mitrovic just had to tap in right there, and that's 3-1. And the situation I feel changed the game for Cameroon was bringing in Vincent. Abubakar really don't know why that man is not starting. He has won a Nations Cup for his country single-handedly against Egypt in that match. I understand Chupo Moteng has been scoring goals in Bayern, but Vincent Abubakar right now is Cameroon, so I really don't know why he doesn't start. But either way, he comes into the game. Serbia have a good opportunity right before, but no, they miss it. Then in the 64th minute of the match, Vincent Abubakar gets played on goal. He doesn't know if he's onside or off. He takes away the defender, loves the ball over the goalkeeper. It bounces into the back of the net. The flag goes up for offside. So now VAR has to check. That's the rule with FIFA now. You let the play go on all the way. Then you go back and check, and it was done the right way this time, and thankfully so, because when VAR went back, he was cleanly onside. 
and that goal definitely counted. So the score is 3-2, 3-2 in favor of Serbia. And two minutes later, you had the second finish. Vincent Abubakar again played through on goal, and he unselfishly puts the ball in for his teammate Chupo Motain, just plays it across the field, and Chupo Motain gets the easy tap in. And I tell you guys this, if Cameroon had been playing like that since the first game, they would have beat Switzerland because they had a couple of opportunities just like that and the player would want to take it all the way and shoot. Just pass the ball to your man. You see him running in. You just play the ball across. He's going to arrive right there and put it into the back of the net. And that's what happened this time. And just like that, Cameroon were back into the game. From then on, there were back and forth of chances for both teams. You had a good opportunity for Mitrovic where he was found by Dusan Tadic. And he really should have found the back of the net with that one. But he did not score. You also had a nice opportunity for Vincent Abubakar. Shifts and shoots from outside the box. But it's right at the goalkeeper. And the match kind of fizzled away just like that. And it ended three goals to three between both teams. Definitely not the worst result for Cameroon. But it makes their final group stage match against Brazil a must win. And that kind of makes you sad when you think about it. The match against Brazil will be played on Friday, the 2nd of December, and that will be a big match for Cameroon. Wishing them good luck with that. So yeah, Cameroon play out a three-hour draw against Serbia in their second match of the FIFA World Cup. Let me know what you guys think about the match. For those who watched it, put it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Peace.